this was a massive fire earlier this morning that broke out around 2.30. They are dealing with some evacuations of neighboring homes. It was a five alarm fire, bringing in crews from other towns to assist about 200 firefighters. Fortunately, the fire was extinguished before it could spread to nearby homes and businesses. A dry hydrant installed years earlier provided quick access to a large supply of water for the fire departments responding. Although we had a pressurized water system, it wasn't going to be sufficient. We decided to install a dry hydrant in the mill pond. An uncontrolled fire in a building doubles in intensity every 30 seconds. Time's everything to us. In our business, it can mean the difference between losing a bedroom and losing a whole house. Pre-planning is key to being able to respond quickly and with enough water to extinguish even the biggest fires. A dry hydrant is a series of hard, large diameter pipes that are installed into the ground into a water supply, fixed for the fire department to be able to connect to and actually suck the water out like a straw. The dry hydrant installation affords us uh, a more rapid uh, operational opportunity. Basically one or two sections of hard suction and you're starting to pull draft. You don't have to worry about a strainer, you don't have to get wet, you don't have to get out on the ice. Choosing a proper site is the first step in the process of installing a dry hydrant. One of our captains is actively working with GIS for the last couple of years. The GIS has fit in very well because we're able to have a complete overview of everywhere we need to have these systems in place and start prioritizing based on the needs of those areas. Due to a 2011 change in Connecticut wetlands laws, it is now easier to get approval to install a dry hydrant. When I get an application for the installation of a dry hydrant, there's two things that I like to do right away. Go out to the site and look at it with the fire chief or the fire marshal. Come back to the office, check the natural diversity database maps to see if there's any issues of concern. If you employ the correct best management practices, then you've addressed 90% of the concerns. Most projects that I'm familiar with take less than a day. We end up having that trench excavated, backfilled the same day, mulched with at least three inches of hay. The impacts are basically short term. The long term impacts are pretty much non-existent. One of the things you might want to consider when you're doing a dry hydrant is how close you can get the truck to the dry hydrant, how close you can get the dry hydrant to the road so you can limit the amount of hard suction that you have to use. We like to keep it down to one or two sections of, of hard suction and uh, a location that's easily accessible for the pumper. Twice a year we uh, draft from every dry hydrant town. Uh, we typically will get in the water uh, with our inflatable boat or a diver if we need to and we'll check the strainers. A lot of times vegetation gets into the strainers and we want to make sure the strainers are clear and open. ISO stands for the Insurance Services Office. It analyzes information on a community's public fire protection capability and assigns a classification from 1 to 10, with 1 being the best. Water is the key to a protection class. A good fire department and a good dispatch with no water is a class 9, regardless how good that fire department is. You know, the better the classification, the, the lower the insurance rates for people in that community. Our primary goal here is public safety. That's very important to us for its residents, for the businesses that call it home. I may receive anywhere from two to three calls a month from insurance agents just checking to see what the closest source of water supply is for a particular residence. We have areas of town that we have very good ratings in because of our hydrant system. To try to achieve a lower ISO rating, we'll need to use the dry hydrant system program along with tankers and mutual aid. That's the beauty of a dry hydrant. It's available year round as opposed to a suction supply where there is no dry hydrant. And then in the middle of the winter, the fire department would have to pull up and break a hole in that ice. Meanwhile, the house is burning. Dry hydrants can improve the town's ISO rating, save money on insurance premiums, protect property, and save lives. For more information and funding opportunities, contact the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection's Forestry Division.